Those dirty paws. If you've owned a cat virtually any amount of time, they've got some dirty paws. From tracking through that litter box, at the very least. And if you allow your pet to roam outdoors on a regular basis, it's a grand slam guarantee. Paws are like your new pair of sneakers. It's only a matter of time before that newness is all worn off and worn out. And when it comes to the cleanup crew, there are several things, several safe measures that you can take to remove all of that pesky dirt and debris from your cat's paws. And that's what I'll address right here and right now. The first step, it's all about comfort. Cats aren't big on having their paws messed with. Cleaning begins with security. Start by simply touching your cat's paws. Hold the paws and see if you can massage them without receiving a reaction of any sort. If you can, you've probably found your in when it comes to a proper cleaning. And before using a fresh clean cloth or perhaps a small amount of feline-friendly soap or shampoo, take a bit of an inspection tour. Look for cuts, dirts, and stains. This can allow you to get an idea of just what you're dealing with and how to remedy any issues that you find. Let's begin with what I mentioned just moments ago, that litter box. If your cat has litter on the paw, start by trying to loosen it up a bit with water. Dip your clean cloth in water or use some cat safe soap if so desired and gently press it against your cat's paws once the water has softened the litter use a secondary clean cloth and remove the particles and before i continue just right quick if you would like information regarding cat friendly soaps and shampoos please contact your local pet store or give a call to your vet for the best possible recommendations and for stability purposes during this whole process Hold your cat's paws individually with your non-dominant hand while using your primary hand to remove the debris. While doing all of this, just talk to your cat. The more chill and relaxed you are, the more comfortable they'll be with this entire thing. And what about removing, you know, that other stuff from the litter box? Hmm. You've got some options here. A clean fine-tooth comb, moistened cloth, unscented baby wipes. So much depends on if the debris, let's call it, is hard or soft. If it's hard, you'll need to soften it up, as you could run the risk of hurting your cat when the fur around the paw pad is pulled. Now, if we're talking about non-litter box style dirtiness, this can be resolved with just a standard wet cloth. Just go over each paw thoroughly, massaging the paw in the process, sort of like when you wash your very own hands. Nothing too harsh, but just enough pressure to get everything clean. Again, be delicate while also being deliberate. Every cat is very different in what they can tolerate, generally speaking, and also what they'll personally tolerate from you. Because what they can stand or take is often different than what they'll allow, if you get what I'm saying. It's a balancing act, for sure. In truth, the actual cleaning part really isn't all that difficult. Being allowed to do what you need to do, now that's the tricky part. It's hard to clean those paws. Your cat is using those paws to run laps around your living room in an attempt to avoid you. When it comes to overall dirty paw prevention, there is really only so much that you can do, but making sure that some measures are in place can help your cat to avoid those ugly messes. And if your cat is in the house full time, these preventions can actually work out quite well. As to be expected, the bulk of the prevention is found in the litter box and the surrounding areas. First tip, provide your cat with a litter mat, a bit of a runoff area, just right outside of the litter box itself. The angled ridges of the mat can serve to dislodge any particles or waste. And when it comes to the actual litter box, the larger area, the better. Cats often track waste from the box because they lack a clean area to maneuver properly. If the space is vast, and the litter box is cleaned out on a regular basis, your cat will be far less likely to step in a mess, quite literally. Upgrading, that could fix a lot of those dirty paw woes.
And when it comes to your actual floors, carpet, or otherwise, the kitchen, living room, bedrooms, make friends with the vacuum cleaner and the mop. If you do regular house cleaning, that alone can help to keep your cat's paws very clean. The less they have to endure, the better. The same for your shoes and your feet. Just clean all around. It helps everyone. And before I close things out today, keep in mind, these tips are strictly for standard cleaning. If your cat has various cuts or abrasions, please assess the situation. Take your cat to the vet if necessary. While cleaning dirt and debris from your cat's paws can be achieved with great success, damaged paws will require a professional examination and proper care. As I often say, never attempt to play the role of the hero. If you find that your cat's paws are more damaged than dirty, contact your vet as soon as possible. And to the audience of Senior Cat Wellness, any paw cleaning tips to offer beyond that of a moist, clean cloth and perhaps a bowl of soapy water? If you have any positive suggestions, feline-friendly soap and shampoo suggestions perhaps, please provide them right there in the comment section below. Once again, so much of paw cleaning depends on your cat's personality and acceptance level. Some felines are cool with it and some are not. Once again, it's all about delicate yet deliberate. That's the mindset you need when it comes to cleaning your cat's dirty paws. And until next time, I do thank you so very much for taking some time out of your busy day to join me right here at Senior Cat Wellness. Did you like what you heard today? If you did, please feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, we will talk to you later.